Welcome to lesson 10 of Learn C. And in this lesson, we're going to do the same thing as we did in lesson 9, that is, um, take the average of points in a data file, coming from a data file. But now we're going to get an algorithm that um, can do a file that we don't, for which we don't know the size of it. So that's the uh, topic of uh, this lecture. So go to Dev C, open recently desktop, C code, lesson nine, lesson nine, control A, control C, close project, new project, console application, lesson 10, A, up one, Control A, Control V, and we. Um, I'm not going to run it again because we don't have in.txt in here. So, but um, uh, so I'm pretty sure it's, it would work if we had in.txt here. So, okay. So now the other thing I need is I need the data, some data files to play with. So let's let's go back to my. The original example back here in cleanup, I have, oh, um, I have make data here. This is where I, the program where I made the data. And I'm going to take the 10 and then the 1,000. And I'm going to copy them into lesson 10. For this class, it's really important to have your data files in the same directory that your executable, that your project is in. That's really uh, super important. Can you do it other ways? Yes, but for this class, it's really important to have the data files that you're going to be doing analysis on in the project folder where your uh, program is. Okay, so, um, uh, so one thing we could do is if we knew how many points there are, so we're going to, I'm, I'm going to look at 010, right? I know how many points there are, so I can then just do four i equals 0, i less than 10, i plus plus. A sub i. Um, you could do it that way, right, if we knew how many points there are. But the point of this um, talk, I mean, of this lesson is to uh, do it if we're not sure what, uh, uh, how many points there are in a file. So we want to be able to read it and detect how many points there are. So that's the trick we're going to learn today. So I'm going to, just for now, I'm going to comment this out. Just as a reminder. And here I'm going to introduce a new variable in n is going to be the number of points. And the way to do it here is you say i equals 0. And then this is a for loop is really a while statement. It, for is really the statement i equals 0 while i is less than 10. Do this. And then on the inside of the loop, i plus plus. So I'm going to do the same thing with this as a while loop. This is kind of a tricky while loop, and in that inside the while loop, we're going to have a function call, f and f p a percent g and percent a sub i. While that exclamation. equal to EOF. And then I don't want to do any commands in here. I just want to increment the counter. So 
hmm wow what is what's going on here so remember every function call returns a value f scan f right it returns a value it's implicit here it's not on the left hand side of the equal sign it's actually going to be returned to this conditional statement to the left hand side of this conditional statement so the output of f scan f is it working is it not working so fp f scan f will return some positive number if it's successfully retrieved a if it's successfully retrieved a value, if it doesn't successfully retrieve a value, that is, if it's reached the end of the file, it will return this special special um, code called EOF. So if the output of this fscanf returns EOF, then you know that you're at the end of the file. That's what that uh, um, line means. And so all you need to do is just scroll through because the inside the conditional statement, you're actually loading up the array a sub i already. Cool, huh? And at the end, what you want to do is you want to say n equals i. So i starts to zero. And we have a sub zero, and in the case of 010, we're going to have it through a sub nine. We're going to we're going to get a sub nine. Then i is going to increment to ten. And then while f scan f a sub ten, it, a sub ten is not going to occur because um, it's going to be eof. So i but um, but so but i i will be ten. So n will be i. N will be the number of points, not the not nine, not the index of the array. So that's going to work out. Cool. So I'm going to erase that. So then we just need to say i less than n and sum divided by n. Notice that it's starting to look good. This is starting starting to be a um, a generalizable algorithm for any dis any indiscriminate number of points. That's pretty cool, right? And so then I want to sort of say the average of percent D numbers is percent F. And so I want to put N in there. Percent D is for integers, decimal, and D is base 10, decimal. You can, you can have uh, binary, octal, hexadecimal, because it's a computer, people care about powers of two. And so you might want to print out a integer number in terms of its hexadecimal equivalent or octal equivalent. But I, I usually just use in base 10 here. So percent D. Percent I also works. It's, it is an ASCII standard now. It, I'm, I'm sorry, it is, a, is it, a, it is an ANSI C standard right now. But, um, but it didn't used to be. So I always use percent D, not percent I for integer. Okay, let's try it. No errors, no warnings. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't work. This is an important little side item. This happened to me before I, I, I actually uh, did um, try this and I made this mistake and I wanted to sort of show uh, this mistake that I made. It says zero, zero errors, zero warnings, but it still made a mistake. It turns out the mistake is up here, in the declaring of the float. I need to declare the array to be something bigger than three. It needs to be 10 right now. So I've got a size, and I'm, I'm going to say 2,000 just to be sure, 2,000. So it can be any number less than 2,000. So I'm going to say this program only works for um, files fewer than 2,000 points. Okay. Save that. Let's try it again. Compile it again. Run again. The average of 10 numbers, points, that's the same as we got last time. Pretty cool. It works. Now, all I have to do here is to do, change this is to go to do a thousand, right? Just change the file name in here. Ta-da! It works. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So that's it. That's how you that's how you do the, a file of indeterminate size. Is you do this while f scan f is not equal to eof. Right now, um, uh, we've learned several conditional statements. Now we've learned less than i less than three, 
I not equal uh, not equal to there. So your homework is to go look up all the conditional operators in C. What are all the different ways that you can compare two things, two numbers? That's it. That's lesson 10.